this video tutorial I will cover how to inject uh, indent string value using uh, string dependency injection by constructor. We can inject the dependency by constructor. Constructor argument is the sub element of uh, bean. Using that we can do dependency injection by constructor. We can inject uh, primitive values, string based values, dependent object and uh, collection values etc. Here I have defined the class uh, employee. It has uh, two properties, ID and name, and uh, it has uh, three constructors. First constructor accept uh, ID, second constructor accept uh, name, third constructor accept uh, ID and name, and it has uh, display employee details method. This is a Spring configuration file. Here we have mentioned employee object should be created by spring container and uh, id value of uh, employee object should be set as uh, 36 and uh, name value of uh, employee object should be set as peter by constructor dependency injection here uh, in constructor argument type we specified uh, int and string so this will call uh, constructor which accept uh, int and string so this constructor will be called and uh, id and uh, name value will be set as 36 and uh, peter what object to instantiate what object to configure and how to configure this information will be there in spring configuration file in this example we have specified employee object should be created by spring container and uh, id value of uh, employee object should be set as uh, 36 and uh, name value of uh, employee object should be set as peter by constructor dependency injection spring container read this uh, spring configuration file and uh, it creates uh, employee object and configure the employee object and uh, it manage the full life cycle of uh, employee object Here I have defined the class uh, app. Here I have created uh, application context object by reading uh, spring configuration file using uh, getbean method of uh, application context object. I am getting uh, employee object from uh, spring container and uh, displaying employee details. Here you can see the output. Here you can see the employee constructor uh, which accept uh, ID and name has been called and id value is set as 36 and name value is set as peter